Hi guys, as I promised to you, I try to make videos of streams every day. You understand that it takes time because I have to train hard and to edit render videos for you to publish them in all social media. But I do it because I promised to do it. Yesterday we had a kind of uh, entertainment video about our trip to the mountain. It was really good, really fun, and I really liked it. But in the evening I had my shooting practice. It was on and straight after sunset. There were some strange moments for me, um, but not only for me, but for shooters that sit nearby. When the ground is getting colder, and even if wind stops, still there is fluctuation of air and uh, we've got to understand that it affects pellets a lot luckily we're not gonna shoot after sunset or on sunset during our competitions but in this situation i was uh, a bit not ready so to say to eat and uh, i didn't expect uh, pellets to go up and down for this range at 100 yards distance. Uh, the second moment I cleaned the barrel and still I don't know how many shots I can make after cleaning the barrel getting excellent accuracy. The second moment I don't know uh, how many shots it is needed to get good accuracy. According to my experience with this gun it's about 10 shots if not to clean the barrel just perfectly and I'm not a fan of perfect clean cleaned barrels because they need to be leaded up anyway to get good accuracy. So about a half an hour I'm going to the shooting range and I'll have to make several experiments connected with a cleaned barrel. I will clean barrel and will shoot several 10 groups uh, to 100 yards distance to understand when good accuracy shooting starts. After that I've got to check the velocity of the gun because as I said before it's new gun straight off the box just adjusted a bit, tuned a bit and with Sabre Tactical chassis regulated back pad and cheek piece and several weights from me <laughs> to be heavy. So as it's a new gun and it has springs inside. Springs on hammer, springs on valve, springs in two uh, regulators. There's no ideal material in the world. We've got to understand it. And every spring can change its characteristics during its work. Especially new spring. And it doesn't mean that anything, uh, mean that anything wrong. It's alright, quite alright to make small corrections after your gun being used after being new one. So I've got to check the velocities, probably they changed a bit and we've got to understand that the ranges of uh, velocities for this B monster design is not as wide as I would like it to be. It's about 30 feet per second and more. And for example, if at uh, 9 60 feet per second it flies well at 9.55 it will get spirals sometimes worse accuracy and so on and so on you'll get lower result and that's not what I need here so now you will see my tests my shooting and probably I will tell you another story about what was done and what results I've got as for now I'm getting ready to go to the shooting range. Well guys, what do we have here? I've tested different velocities, different setups and just adjusted a bit the pressure in the second regulator up to 140 bar. Just a bit of play with the valve tension and I've got good accuracy. After that I've shot three matches. The first, the first was shot in just severe wind, so to say, because all the flags were just hor horizontal, you'll see this match. Uh, the second match was 
in temper twin, but yeah. Yeah. it was not easy. And I've got 224 score and 3x. The thought was shot right now. And I really like my results because I like the way I start working with the wind flags. I don't think about it, I just shoot. And it's another level, so to say. I'm very happy with this gun because I feel good and I get a lot of pleasure shooting it. And any opportunity and any need to make any adjustments is easy like that. I've never met that before. Another great thing that I can shoot without getting my eye or hand from the stock because cocking is extremely light here. It, it's like that. Very simple. It's almost like shooting semi-auto and it gives a gr great advantage if to compare with single load guns that I used before to shoot bench rest. So I'm, I'm happy guys, thanks for watching. Now you will see all three matches. It is needed for me and it could be dull for you. So you can turn this video off. Thank you, bye. We must have some sort of shade possibly over here so that the, the reporter's not in full sun. <laughs>